So here come the two archers for the first semi final Ryu Sing Jung Bing, one of them, and the other Jung Dasomi. Dasomi is a very good archer as well. She did not compete in the team's events, but still finished in fourth place. The first and semi final. A fine of archer in her own individual. right. We have in target number one, Yu Su Jung from Korea. In target number two, Jong Tamoshi from Korea. So, Jung Dasomi. The line judge for this match is Shimulakter. So, it's time for Rika Women individual semi final. So, Ri Seon Jung getting through to the semi finals. In comfortable fashion in her 1 8 elimination round, beating a, a Kazakh archer and then was uh, not taken to the brink of defeat but was tested six set points to four against Bari of India in the quarter final. Jung was comfortable in her 1 8 elimination against an Uzbekistan archer and uh, took out Dia Siddique of Bangladesh seven set points to one in her quarter final. So here we go. It is the first semi-final with Ryu to serve to go first. Ten. And she has been in sensational form in the team's gold medal matches. She shot six arrows in the teams and five tens. Ten. And in the mixed teams, six arrows for six tens. So she only missed once. Nine, maybe ten. And she's starting off brilliantly again. Ten. Bit of a longer hold, but straight into that ten. Ten. Well, three tens for Rio. She has just off to the races again. Now can Jung match her with her last arrow of the first set? Nine. Well, just drops away to the right. So it's going to be Ryu Su Jung to take the first set. It looks like by a point. We'll just get ratification on one of those arrows, but a fine start to her again. It's a close one to call. So, the judge has got the magnifying glass out to have a little look at it. Forensically examining that arrow. Well, if it's got the line, it's only just got it. So it's either going to be a win for you or it's going to be a, a squared set, a shared set. So let's have a look and see which way after first set of the match. Credit card's Both going to fall. It is shared twenty nine apiece. So there we are. Interesting. So there we are. Let's tell you a little bit about Jung. She is an experienced archer as well. She's thirty years of age, a former world number one, currently ranked two hundred and seventeen, so She's down the rankings somewhat. She's competed at one World Championships, arguably had the most success on the World Cup, winning five individual gold medals. And at the Asian Games as well, where she's a, a two-time representative and an individual gold medal winner back in Incheon 2014. Eight. Wow, that's the first time Rio has found a score outside the goal zone. A big chance here for Jung. Eight. And just only, I think, going to the other side of the target. So nine. The conditions here have been really good so far. I don't think the wind is playing any role in this at all. Conditions are good, light's good.
Ten. So Rio with her last arrow. Ten. And a nice one to finish there. However, Dasomi can win the set with a ten. Ten. And she's done brilliantly. What a great arrow that one was there. The eyes lit up as soon as the arrow left the bow, didn't they? And there is the win for Dasomi, the fourth seed. And she will lead three sets to one. Remember, it's a best of five set encounter. It takes some doing to put one in there when, the, when you really need to, Nikki. And uh, she'll get some confidence from that. Absolutely, it's a great set. Um, you can see the archers just checking over their arrows when they come back as well. So she was just checking the, the points there because I think the target they're shooting at might have a little bit of foam or something stuck on the end of the points. And as you watch the archers, you can see them draw that arrow under what we call a clicker, a draw length indicator. If you can feel anything on the end of that arrow, that's really important. So make sure they're nice and clean, nothing on them. Well, interesting situation now with Jung leading by three set points to one. Winner through to the final, the gold medal match, the loser to the bronze medal match. Let's see if Ryu can put behind her that. Ten. Wobbly, I was going to say wobbly set, 27 out of 30. It's not too bad, but not good enough to win at that time. But uh, she's bounced back beautifully there with a 10. Ten. Ten. Shooting quite quickly. Back into her normal groove. Just watch the alignment of this archer. So she comes through. That back elbow goes around after anchoring. Good alignment. Ten. Nine, maybe ten. Ten. Oh, that'll be interesting, that one, won't it? Again, very close call. Ten. A brilliant effort. Now, Jung might need a 10 here just to salvage a point. I think the magnifying glass will definitely come out again after that second arrow. It's a big arrow, this one. Well, it won't be good enough to get anything regardless now of what that second arrow was, whether it was a 9 or a 10. It'll be Rue set. And we're level at three set points each. Beautifully poised with two sets to go, Nikki. Yeah, a really good match, isn't it? Uh, one to the other. So, you know, see who can kind of come up, come out on top, really. Rue's been shooting so well through team matches already. It was really uncharacteristic of her to go off into the eight, but she's come back strongly there with the 30. Her, her shot time has just seemed to be a bit quicker, particularly that first arrow of that set, and she's got back into her groove. Yeah, always nice getting a 30 out of 30, the perfect set. So this is the first of the two semis. So after third set, we see both archers are tied with three points. Now fourth set will be third set. So... Three set points each. That last set was 30 to 29. So that arrow was upgraded, that second arrow from Jung. So it's going to be Ryu Su Jung to go first in the fourth set. Nine.
Nein. Nein. X. X. Again, good quick shots. John tends to take a little bit longer at full draw. Nine. Nine. Well, that's three nines in a row now from Jung. And Rue can win the set here with a ten. Nine. And the door is slightly there for, for Jung now. Here's a ten she needs. And if she gets it, the match will be all square with one set to play. Nine. just wide so three nines won't get the job done and Ryu will win the fourth set and go to match point Jung just not finding that 10 at the moment that's four nines in a row Nikki and uh, oh you look back and you think if she only got one in there and make all the difference yeah she did a lovely group didn't she those first two arrows beautifully together but just a little bit to the left and losing two points so against a competitor like this is uh, just too much so she's got to get herself centered again back into this um she just looks generally a little bit down doesn't she the body language there's no smiling or anything she's very serious so you know she's got to put that behind her now get back out there do what she knows she can do she still has a chance here jung dasomi and she must win this fifth set to take the match to a shoot off. Any other result, it will be Ryu Su Jung who will go through to the gold medal match. So, fifth and final set now. Jung Dasomi to go first. Nine. Sorry, ten. Nine. Nine. A bit of movement, body sway. Nine. Just dropping low. But you can see the arrow holes in that target. She's just sort of left and right, isn't she? Not really much up and down. That's the first low arrow she's really had. Ten. Well, wow, that's a great time to score a ten. So we're all square with one arrow left. Jung Dasomi needs a ten here. To really keep alive her hopes of a gold medal match. And she's nine. astray. So it's a nine. It's 28. So it is on the bow here of Ryu. She will need a nine. And she will be through. And it's just nine. into the nine zone. It is just there. So it's a sheared set. But that will be enough. But only just with that last arrow, Nikki. It was close. Five more millimeters to the right. And it would have been a shoot off really was we saw her shoot 1-8 in that match but that was probably the widest nine we've seen her shoot so maybe a little bit of pressure getting to her you know these guys probably know each other quite well and know how good they are so a bit of pressure on that last shot just to finish up the match so there we are it was a tied set at 28 points each but that will see the number one seed Ryu Su Jung go through to win the match by six set points to three and she will play for a gold medal match in a little while and try and win her third gold medal of these Asian championships.